dear friends this is Srinivasan who is having more than 40 years experience in this construction industry trying to present you a small presentation on components of the aluminium framework and its working approach it's a civil conclave present details the components of the maivan shuttering deck panel it forms the horizontal surface for fastening of the slabs it is built on properly of proper safety of worker this is the image of the deck panel deck prop it forms a v-shaped pop head it supports the deck and bars the load coming of the deck panel this is the image of it prop length it is the length of the prop it depend upon the length of the slab this is known as a prop length this image will show you the prop length deck mid beam it supports the middle portion of the beam it holds the concrete the image of the deck mid beam is as follows soffit length it provides support to the edge of the deck panels at their perimeter of the room see this is the soffit length deck beam bar it is a deck for the beam this component supports the deck and the beam you can see the image of it beam side panel it forms the sides of the beams it is rectangular structure and it is cut according to the size of the beam here you can see the image of the beam side panel propped for a soffit beam it forms a soffit beam it is a v-shaped head for easy dislodging of the farmer this is the things which we call as a prop head for a soffit beam beam soffit panel it supports the soffit beam it is a plain rectangular structure of an aluminium this is the image of it beam soffit bulk head it is a bulk head for the beam it carries most of the bulk load the image of it you can see it here internal soffit corner it forms the vertical internal corner between the walls and the panels slabs and the horizontal internal cornice between the walls and the beam slabs and the beam soffit the image of it has been shown here this is the internal soffit corner external soffit corner it forms the external corner between the component here you can see the image of the external soffit corner external corner it forms the external corner of the formwork system see this is the image of the external corner internal corner it connects us two pieces of vertical formwork pieces at their ex exterior intersections that is the external wall to the internal wall this is the image of the internal corner wall panel it forms the face of the wall it is an aluminium sheet properly cut to fit the exact size of the wall this this is the image of the wall panel rocker it is supporting component of a wall it is l shaped panel having allotment holes for a stub pin see here you can see this this is known as a rocker through which you are supporting the wall kicker it forms the wall face at the top of the panels and acts as a ledge to support see this is the things the kicker it can be used as a level adjuster also it will be on the top of the wall stub pin it helps in joining two wall pins it helps in joining two joints this is the image of a stub pin sequence for striking and erecting the wall mounted on the pin see here see the bamboo scaffolding generally we can correct it this is the bracket external bracket okay this also come with the aluminium formwork here you can see a person is erecting it 
then this is the wall reinforcement of the wall this is from one floor to another floor erection of the platform okay again the same way this is the second floor to third floor striking of all forms can be done within 10 to 15 hours of the concreting the only tool is required for dismantling is the hammer see here how the dismantling has been carried out a person standing outside is dismantling from the outside internal positioning of a working platform brackets on the higher level and screwing nut on the rod on the inside of the building see when you want to go on the top floor you have to erect the platform this is the methodology of erecting the platforms internally and externally okay now again you see the same methodology has been happened this is the removing the kicker you know when you want to remove the kicker how to remove it from the second floor level and erecting aluminium floor on the third floor level okay form work assembly aluminium form works aims in using modern construction techniques and equipments in all projects on leaving the aluminium form work factory all panels are clearly labeled to ensure that they are easily identified on site and can be smoothly fitted together using the formwork modulation drawing all formwork begins at a corner and proceeds from there see here you can see the images of how the corner wall panel has been erected this is the soffit length this is the internal soffit corner wall this is a deck panel that is a this is known as a slab deck panel this all the wall panels has been erected this is the way methodology of a top panel has to be erected then you had a beam panels and the deck slab beam assembly details see this is the method of the beam assembly details the kicker panels will come out at the top exit beam side this is a soffit length internal beam side panel this is the internal beam side panels this has been erected and from here you are having a slab panel proper for support the beams generally what you call the jack pipe and everything this is here we call it as a prop head this is a deck panel this is a slab panel this is a stub pin you know whenever you connected with the two panels you use a stub pin which i show it to you in the earlier images the panels are held in position by a simple pen and wedge system that passes through holes in the outside rib of each panel the panels fit precisely simply and securely and occurrence no bracing building can be constructed quickly and easily by the unskilled labor with a hammer being the only tool required once the panel have been numbered measuring is not necessary as the erection process is manually tower cranes are not required the result is a typical 4 to 5 day cycle per floor to floor construction efficient quick stripe period proper prop head one of the principal technical feature which enables this appad to be attained using a single set of a palmer panel is a unique v shaped prop head which allowed the quick strip to take place while leaving the propping undisturbed the deck panels can be construction with the aluminium formwork pre construction activities receipt on equipment of site the equipment received site as of ordered level surveys level checking are made to maintain the horizontal level check setting out the setting out the formwork has been done control correction or a deviation deviation or any correction has to be carried out erect formwork the formwork erected at site erect deck formwork deck is erected for labors to work setting kickers kickers are provided at the top of the beam 
after the above activities have been complete it is necessary to check the following all farm work should be clean and coated with a approved release agent ensure wall farm work is erected to the setting out lines check all openings are correct dimension not twist check all horizontal farm work deck soffit and beam soffit etc in level ensure deck beam props are vertical and there is a vertical movement in the pop lengths check wall ties pins and wedges are all in position and secure any surplus materials or items to be cleared from the area to the to be casted ensure working platform brackets are strictly fastened to the concrete on concreting activities at least two operatives should be on stand by during concrete for checking pins wedges and wall ties as the pour is in progress pins wedges or wall ties mixing could lead a movement of the formwork and possibility of the formwork being damaged this affected area will then required remedial work after striking of the farm work things to look for during concreting dislodging of a pins wedges due to vibration beam deck props adjustment to drop areas slipping due to vibration ensure all bracing at a special areas slipping due to vibration over spill of concreting at window open post concrete activities strike wall form it is required to strike down the wall form strike duct form the deck form is then removed clean transport and stake form work strike kicker form work the kicker are removed strike wall mounted on a working platform the walls are fitted on the next floor erect wall mount working platform and the wall is erected normally all form work can be stuck after 12 hours the post concreting activities includes cleaning all components should be clean with the scrapers and wire brushes as soon as possible as they are stuck wire brush is to be used only on side rails the longer cleaning is de- delayed the more difficult the task will be it is usually best to clean panels in the area where they are stuck transporting there are basic three methods recommended of transporting to the next floor the heaviest and the longest which is full height of a wall panel can be carried to the nearest stairway passes through the void areas rows through slots specially formed in the floor slab for this purpose once they have served the purpose they are closed by casting in a concreting fitter striking once cleaned and transported to the next point of erection panel should be staked at a right place and in a right order proper staking is a clean sign of a well managed operation greatly aids to the next sequence erection as well as preventive clusters and impend other activities speed speed of construction work cycle aluminum form work system for scheduling and controlling the work of other connected construction trades such as steel reinforcement concreting placement and electrical inserts the work of the site ends follows a particular sequence The work cycle begins with the deshattering of the panels. It takes 12 to 15 hours. It is followed by positioning at the brackets, platforms on the level. It takes 10 to 15 hours simultaneously. The deshat panels are lifted and fixed on the floor. The activity requires 7 to 10 hours. Kicker and external shutters are fixed in 7 hours. the wall shutters are erected in 6 to 8 hours one of the major activity reinforcement required 10 to 12 hours the fixing of the electrical equipment conduits takes 
about 10 hours and finally pouring of the concreting take place. There is a well synchronized work cycle for a period of 7 days. A period of 10 to 12 hours is left after concreting for the concreting to gain the strength before the beginning of the next cycle. This work schedule has been planned for 1010 to 1080 square meter of farm work with 72.25 cubic meter of concreting and approximate reinforcement. The farm work assembling at the site is a cook an easy process. On leaving the aluminium formwork factory, all panels are clearly labeled to ensure that they are easily identifiable on site and can smoothly fit together using a formwork modulation drawing. All formwork begins from the corner and proceeds from there. The system usually follows a cycle. Day 1. The first activity construction of the erection of the vertical reinforcement boss and one side of the vertical formwork for the entire floor are a part of one floor. Day 2. The second activity involves erection of the second side of the vertical formwork and formwork for the floor. Day 3. Fixing reinforcement bars for a floor slabs and casting of walls and slabs. Day 4. Removal of vertical formwork panels after 24 hours, leaving the props in place. For 7 days and floor slab formwork placed in for 2.5 days. This is the methodology of how to erect the aluminium formwork panel. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like and share which will motivate me for a further good presentation. In case of any queries, do not hesitate to write to me. The response shall be at the earliest. In the next presentation, we will discuss about the design aspects and the accessories required for a aluminium farmer. You can contact me at civilconclave at the rate of gmail.com or at my telegram group, Srini Telegram Group. The link is as follows. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe share which will motivate me for a further good presentation.